here's my new room. The new house. I haven't got a lot set up yet. Got my computer set up. That was the important part. So at least I have something to watch. Until we get internet set up, which I don't have yet. And cameras. Which help here with stuff on it. Storage. I don't know where I'm going to put that yet. My paper tower. Got stuff in my room. So far, he's been using it. And it was kind of missing for 24 hours. Finally found him, so he's in my room now. He's been in a safe spot. Until he's comfortable enough to come out and go exploring. Oh, my junk go piled up. Well, not all of it. Just what's up here right now. This cat's key cool. Look down there. There's the key cat. Right in the corner. It's okay, Mookie. Hey, okay. He does come out. But when things get kind of noisy, he hides back in there. It's his little safe spot. I kind of don't want to move stuff around. Because I don't want to take that spot from him. But when he does get here, the point of hard work like that, he'll hide back here in the corner. And this is really hot. Like I can barely touch it. And he rests his chin on it and he seems to be comfortable with that. And that's where I'm sleeping at the moment until I make my bed. I think I'll be buying a new mattress. The other one was crap. It wasn't worth bringing with us. And I'm gonna figure out what size mattress first. And then I'm gonna build a frame for it I'm going to be building it out of cardboard rather than trying to drag lumber home in this wonderful weather that we got. got two feet of snow overnight video outside my window nothing special mostly roof right here so not a big room but it works one single light, that's all I need. The floor is nice. I really like the floor. And I've got sports balls in the ceiling. And apparently, whoever lived here before had kids, so there's like stuff like that all over the house. But I, I just, I haven't been able to do anything. I've been so sore, and I still am. My feet are still kind of swollen. That one's not so bad. The right one seems to be swollen more than the left. Yeah, I've got my foot spa here that I want to use very soon. I just brought my chair in from the garage. Something to sit on now. i to fill that up with water. It's nice. It vibrates. It's got heat. It's got jets. It's got massagers. I bought a nice one. I just I don't want just a plain basic one. I haven't used it in several years actually. I do. But it's going to take me some time to recover from this. A lot of physical activity. That's right. I had, uh, after the first trip, we got finished about 1 30 in the morning unloading. So I went back to Hanover. And it was just, there was so much left to do. It was just Zach and I. And I spent the entire night, and all that was left of the night, packing. And I didn't get a chance to sleep. So, and then we brought that one down. And then we had to do a third trip. So I had to rent a truck for a second day, or, yeah, a second day. Which, thankfully, it didn't cost quite as much. You know, with the extra kilometers. I think it was $39 for the extra day, which was kind of nice. And we didn't have to pay extra rental for another day for the dolly. So that was also kind of nice. But altogether, it was an extra $136, I think, total. Which was pretty good. But what I really liked was when I took the, the truck back. I, when I got it, it had a quarter tank in it. And whatever amounts in it, you have to figure out how much to put in to get it back to where it was when you picked it up and we initially put a hundred dollars in and by the time we were finally finished with everything it was just under a quarter tank about a needle's width under so, 
our driveway is about 15 feet long <laughs> before the garage and there's no way I could park the truck in there. I couldn't park on the street because there's no parking on the streets out front or out back. But thankfully, Wingham has a community parking lot for commercial vehicles that can't be parked on the street which is where I left the truck overnight and I took it back on Friday. I went to pick it up and stopped at Timmy's and from Timmy's to the other end of town the only gas station that I saw was Esso and it was really small and tight getting in and I didn't want to take a, a chance on damaging the vehicle trying to get in there so I just I figured well, I'll just pay the service fee and I, I think what she said was it's thirty dollars plus a dollar fifty a liter to bring it back to whatever you know, it was when I picked it up so I figured you know, I'll just do that and better than risking damaging the truck or the gas station. So when I get there, you know, he's checking out. I, just, I told him about it. I said it's, it's not a whole lot underneath, but it's just definitely less, it's visibly less. So he had to go get the mileage off the truck. Anyways, he says, "Well, I'll take a look at it." Then he comes back in. He says, "Well, it looks like a quarter tank to me." <laughs> so that saved me, you know, well, thirty dollars at least. It's thirty dollars for the service fee. So. That worked out well that way. And then I had to take a taxi home from there. I've been pretty much laying down ever since. All I've done is set my computer up, made a place for my bed, stacked all the boxes in one corner, and hoped I would see the cat soon. So first day was fine. Kind of laid down. And I woke up again and. Oh my goodness, I am so sore right now. Didn't do much of anything at all. And then that night I went to bed, which would have been Friday night. Yes, Friday night. And Zach woke me up at 2 o'clock in the morning, asking for a hand because he found the cat. Apparently the cat brushed up against him <laughs> and scared the crap out of him. Which I could see. So I kind of blocked the stairway so he couldn't get out and then Zach scared him out of his room and he instantly went running into my room which is the only other open door upstairs here and he's been in here ever since so he's been doing good he, it took him a while to calm down he went into the corner here behind the radiator and he meowed a couple times and I just talked talk softly to him and let him come out on his own and he's now eating, he's using the litter box. He's sleeping in his little bed here. It started out as Nikita's bed, then it became Scooby's bed, and now it's Smokey's bed. And he sleeps on the pillow with me. I'll wake up and he's like laying on my face. I guess he's comfortable. I've been giving him his daily treat two days now. And he's, he's eating my, that was my biggest fear about not knowing where he is. We, we knew he didn't get out of the house. He's, he's afraid of going outside, so we knew he didn't get out. Yeah, I brought him with the second trip. I didn't want to leave him here. I wanted to be here when he came out so he could get used to you know, the room. But the problem is, he knows how to open doors. Oh, here he comes. He knows how to open doors. So he opened it and he went out. And we had no idea where he was. But he's really good at hiding because when he found that little spot in there, it took me a while. It's opened up a little more now. I've moved some boxes, but he was hidden pretty good. And he was like right there, you know, basically in plain view of me. But I couldn't find him. I could not see him. He's so good at hiding. But he's doing good. That was my biggest fear. I was worried about him starving. Because if he was scared, he will not come out. I was so worried we were going to move stuff around downstairs and find a dead kitty cat, so I was so thankful when we found him. Hey, Smokey. <laughs> so, right now he's not leaving the room. He did open the door yesterday, stuck his head out, looked out, and changed his mind. And then another time I had the door open, I kind of, he was walking like a hyena. Try that again in case you didn't hear that. He was walking like a hyena. 
He had his rear end really close to the ground. He had his neck stretched out. And he's kind of moving his head around like an owl. Just trying to get a, his bearings on everything. And the dog lays outside there in the, in the hallway on a blanket. And the dog saw the cat. And he started wagging his tail and was thumping on the floor. The cat looked at him and said, Nah, I don't think someone come running back in. <laughs> it was kind of funny. Now, in time. It's a matter of time for him to get comfortable again. So, right now this is the safe room. That's why I got all the food in the litter box in here. Because this is where he is. If you get comfortable enough to leave, then he'll leave. Once you're lucky. But he'll always come back here. The same as the other house. My bedroom is his safe room. But, I don't have a bed for him to hide under now, so I have to make sure when I do move stuff around here, I gotta make sure I leave somewhere for him that he can go. So. Really need to get things organized. I don't know if you can tell when the dog barks, it just echoes. There's a very strong echo in this house right now because there's not much set up. Everything's, well not everything, but a lot of the stuff is still out in the, the room by the kitchen and the mud room beyond that. Uh, so it's to be organized, but it's just going to take a long time for me to recover from this. I'm not able to do much of anything right now. I went through my boxes here really quickly trying to find my meds. I'm not sure where they went. They were with the last trip and I was sure I saw them up here, but I didn't know. There he goes opening the door now. No, nope, not gonna do it, Mokey. Okay, he's not gonna open the door, I thought he was going to. Hey, Blakey. I'm happy. I'm happy that we found him. Hey, Mokey. Hey, Blakey. You wanna come up on my lap? Now, you sniffing my chair. This chair was out in the shelter with the scooters, and the neighbor's cats have probably peed on it. He sniffs it pretty intently every time he comes by. And so far he hasn't er had the urge to add his own pee to it. And hopefully he doesn't. <laughs> okay. Hello. Mm -hmm. So, that's the status. Yeah, that's the status right now. Yeah, see, you heard a noise. I'm heading back to his hiding spot. Change your mind? You change your mind? He's back in his bed. So anyways, that's the status update. And this is Sunday right now, so... Tomorrow we are supposed to be getting, oh yeah, I moved some boxes around so now he's got to explore the changes. And tomorrow is when we're supposed to get the internet. I'm not exactly sure how it's going to work for me because my computer has to be plugged in directly. Everything else we have is Wi-Fi, so I don't know exactly how we're going to do that just yet. I want to see if there's some kind of... I don't know what it would be called. I I think of it as a repeater, but something that picks up the Wi-Fi and then you can plug into it. Let me see if there's anything like that. I might need that because everything else is downstairs. And my computer's upstairs, the far far corner from where the modem will likely be. So we'll see. One way or another. If you're seeing this, obviously I've got the internet. Another thing I'd like to check is if there's a way my laptop will pick up the the Wi-Fi. I just wonder if there's a way I can use that as my internet source for PC. The problem is I do have a data link because my desktop wasn't burning disks for some reason. 
Uh, it wasn't the hard drive I replaced that, or hard drive. It wasn't the the burner I replaced it. It didn't make any difference. The software didn't make any difference. For whatever reason it is now, but at the time I had to send everything to my laptop and use my laptop to burn. But it is so incredibly slow. In order, I was using the internet, but it slows our internet down so much. So I bought a data link. It's plugged in here. Move it up and it comes in to the other computer. But the problem with that is my USB ports are worn out. Oops, they're there. And if you listen, if I wiggle this, you can see how loose it is there. Let's see if I can get it out. You can hear that putting noise. I'll put it back in. Can you hear it? Now if I wiggle, you'll hear it again. See? It doesn't take much at all for it to lose contact, so I, I don't think I'd be able to use that as a permanent internet source. Because if I'm uploading a video to YouTube and that happens, you know, it, it takes several hours for some of my videos to upload. So if that gets interrupted, I'd have to start all over again, and that wouldn't be a good thing. So, I don't know exactly what I'm going to do yet. But I'll figure it out one way or another. Like, hey, Moki. At least he's not meowing. Normally when I talk, he meows. Get his voice in there. Thankfully he hasn't been doing that. And hopefully he won't do that anymore. <laughs> you sniffing the garbage? Anything in there of interest or shouldn't be? So I'm just kind of using a temporary bowl for his water right now because I don't know where I put his water bowl. I thought it was in an obvious place that came with the last trip too. But I haven't found it, so I don't know exactly where it is yet. It'll show up eventually. So that's it. I don't know, it'll be a while before we get out. Everything... We got Disney to snow last night. Everything's pretty messed up out there right now. It seems like only the main streets are getting plowed, or the main sidewalks on the main streets are the only ones that seem to be getting plowed, so that's going to be interesting. So, I finally heard from my social worker again, just before we brought our last, or before we started loading the truck the last time. And apparently she sent the fax again to you know, get the monster's repairs done. But I haven't talked to the dealer yet, so I don't know if he's received it this time. This is driving me nuts. I can't do it again because I won't have the same social worker. I'm not in the same county anymore. I'm, I'm in Huron County now, so I'll have a different social worker. Yeah, if things don't work, I'll try to explain the situation to her and see if she can reinitiate this repair. It's got to get done. It's, it's driving me absolutely insane. We had a heck of a time pushing the monster up onto the truck, up that steep ramp. Because it's not under power. It weighs 500 pounds. And it's got a flat tire. So, <laughs> it wasn't exactly the easiest thing to do. Getting it down wasn't so bad because we had gravity helping. But it took more than one of us to push it into the garage here. So it's kind of... It's, it's not a huge uphill or anything, but... Uh, the ground's pretty rough out there right now. So hopefully I can get that fixed. As I need springtime, I can't do much in the winter, and the uh, ES950 is acting up. I'm pretty sure it's the key switch, which I do have a replacement, but I just never put it in. And I really don't want to try doing that in this weather. And anywhere I drive, I have to drive on the streets right now until I get down to the main road. And, you know, it's just, the S950 just doesn't like the snow. Smaller wheels, smaller scooter, so understandable. But the nice thing about this town is everything that we need is within three blocks of us. 
Oh, it's it's set up so nice. We're in such a nice place. So we will see. So that's the end of my update. And thanks for watching.